Word of God says in 1 Corinthians 12 31, that you should earnestly desire the best gifts. When you desire these gifts and you ask God to give them to you, He will do just that, because He said that you should ask, and it will be given to you. So, let us pray together in faith as we ask God for these gifts and for their manifestation. In the name of Jesus, we thank you, Lord Jesus, for giving us all of you. Thank you for giving us your spirit in full measure. And thank you because you are ready to give us your gifts without withholding any from us. Father, I pray for all that have not been baptized in the Holy Ghost, listening to this message today. I pray that they receive the gift of the Spirit and that they begin to show its proof by praying in the Holy Ghost in the name of Jesus. The Word of God says in Matthew 7, 7 that we should ask and it will be given to us. According to the Word of God, I pray for you that you receive the gift of the Spirit in full measure in the name of Jesus. Nehemiah 9, 20 says that God gave us His good Spirit to instruct them. In the name of Jesus, I pray for you that God will pour out to you the gift of the Spirit, who will instruct you on the right thing to do per time and season. In the name of Jesus, the Bible says in John 20, 22, that Jesus breathed on them and said to them, Receive the Holy Spirit. I pray for you that the Lord will breathe a fresh outpouring of His Spirit upon you and your household in the name of Jesus. I decree over you that you will manifest the Spirit without measure, since you have been given the Spirit without measure, in the name of Jesus. The Word of God says in Psalm 68, 8, that God has ascended on high, He has led captive captives, He has received gifts among men. According to the Word of God, I pray for you that the Lord will give you a measure of His gift, so that you will use it to edify the church, in the name of Jesus. The Holy Spirit, who is the greatest gift that you have ever been given, will cause you to begin to manifest all the gifts that He brought when He came to reside in you, in the name of Jesus. I pray for you that you will be given the gift of your choice, and as you are given the gift, you will profit the kingdom of God through it, in the name of Jesus. I release the gift of discernment to you, and as we receive this gift, you would know the will of God for you per time and season, and you will be able to see deep into the spirit realm in the name of Jesus. I release the gift of prophecy to you, and as you receive this gift, you will exhort, comfort, and edify the body of Christ in the name of Jesus, and I decree over you that the gift of God's love is shed abroad in your heart in the name of Jesus. From today, I pray for you that out of your belly will flow rivers of living waters in the mighty name of Jesus. And I pray for you that you will be endowed with the gift of revelation and wisdom in the knowledge of God in the name of Jesus. And by the power in that name, I pray for you that the gift of the spirit that has been dormant in your life due to you not exercising it be awakened. In the name of Jesus, I release a fresh unction upon you for you to walk effectively in the gifts of the Spirit that is within you from today. I pray for you that your hands will work mighty miracles. You will raise the dead, you will cast out devils, you will open the blind eyes, you will make the lame walk, and you will do mind-blowing miracles in the name of Jesus. I decree over you that you will walk in the prophetic more than ever before in the name of Jesus, and I release the ability to make the gifts of God in your life be seen by the world, and in turn, they will glorify God in your life. In the name of Jesus, we bless you, Lord, for answering all our prayers. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen. Dying to yourself means foregoing the selfish, physical, and egotistical desires of the world and still being committed to seeking God and His kingdom. The Word of God says in 2 Corinthians 5.17 that if anyone is in Christ, he is a new creature. All things have passed away. Behold, all things have become new. In this kingdom, God works through people that are broken and yielded. A broken and a contrite heart he does not despise. If you want to be a mighty weapon and a battle axe, you must die to yourself. God loves people that are ready to go to any length for him. So today we will be praying for God to help us to die to ourselves and be totally out to Him. The Word of God says also in 1 Corinthians 3.16 that our body is a temple of the Holy Ghost and the Spirit is residing in us. 
By the reason of this, we know that God is the one that is at work in us, and we are no longer the one living. In Him, we breathe, move, and have our being. Let us pray together in faith. In the name of Jesus, I pray for you that the Lord will help you to know that you are no longer alive to yourself, but that you are alive unto God. By the power in the name of Jesus, I decree over you that you will breathe, move, and have your being in the Lord. I decree that your sensual lusts and desires are buried in the blood of Jesus. 1 John 2 verse 5 says that you should not love the world or anything in the world. If anyone loves the world, the love of the Father is not in them. And by the power in the name of Jesus, I pray for you that you would not love the world and all the things that are in the world. In the name of Jesus, you will love God more than all these things. In the name of Jesus, since you have been born again, not of perishable seed, but of imperishable through the living and enduring Word of God. By the power in the name of Jesus, I pray for you that the incorruptible seed in you would never be corrupted by you or by any other external forces. In the name of Jesus, you are a new creature of God. Therefore, all the things that are not of God will give way, and you will begin to show forth the new you for the world to see. In Jesus' name, and by the power in the name of Jesus, you will be broken and yielded to God's will and leading for you. In Jesus' name, and even in the darkest night, you will still be broken to worship God. In the name of Jesus, I release the grace to consecrate your entire being to the Lord, to the shame of the devil, and to God's pleasure. In Jesus' name, since you have been crucified with Christ and you no longer live, but Christ lives in you. By virtue of this, you will no longer be alive to yourself, but unto God in all that you do. In the name of Jesus, the Word of God says in Galatians 5.24 that those who belong to Christ Jesus have crucified the flesh with its passions and desires. According to the Word of God, I pray for you that you will always crucify the passions and lusts of the flesh daily. In Jesus' name, you will sow to the Spirit, and as you do that, you will reap eternal life. This prayer is sealed with your seal of protection. No one can break this agreement between us. I give this prayer to your angels to carry it in the golden cups to the throne of God Almighty. In Jesus' name, it is done. Amen and Amen. First John 5.18 says that God's Son holds them securely and the evil one cannot touch them. I proclaim the same scripture over your body, soul and spirit, off limits to all evil spirits, invoking the name of Jesus in every covenant with idols and the yokes associated with them. In the name of Jesus, I refuse and invalidate every evil pronouncement imposed on you in Jesus' name. I declare the restoration of any damage inflicted on your body in the name of Jesus. I disown counsel and reject any affiliation with any familiar spirit in the name of Jesus. I pray for the removal of all curses placed upon your ancestral families due to their involvement in evil associations in the name of Jesus. I break, and all every blood and soul ties covenant with the yokes accompanying it in the name of Jesus. I commend the demise of every curse operating against your head through the power and the blood of Jesus. I call upon the divine power of the Lord to draw you out of the waters of affliction in the name of Jesus. According to Psalm 1816, he sent from on high, he took me. He drew me out of many waters, voices of strangers, casting spells against you. I declare that they perish in the name of Jesus. I wipe off every ordinance invoked by the power of darkness into the heavens against you in the name of Jesus. The word of God in 2 Thessalonians 3.3 says, But the Lord is faithful. He will strengthen you and guard you against the evil one. I call, therefore, upon the power of God to attack all covenants assigned against your head in the name of Jesus. As I declare confusion in the midst of their territories in the name of Jesus, 
I free you from every grip of ancestral spirits holding you down in the mighty name of Jesus. I declare that you are released from every spirit that is not the Spirit of Christ, for 1 Corinthians 6, 1, 17 says, But the person who is joined to the Lord is one spirit with him. I renounce any of your association with all evil groups and detachment from them in the name of Jesus. Psalm 51, 7 says, Purge me with high soap, and I shall be clean. Wash me, and I shall be whiter than snow. I pray that you are purified from all evil covenants and curses, just as you have renounced them and received Jesus. In the name of Jesus, I declare that all demonic spirits attached to evil covenants and curses against your life are carted in the name of Jesus. I declare the name of Jesus to terrify all evil associations in your life, according to Philippians 2.10, so that at the name of Jesus every knee should bow in heaven and on earth, and underneath the earth the psalmist proclaims in Psalm 34.7, For you are my hiding place. You protect me from the trouble you surround me with the fire of deliverance. So I declare that the protection encompasses you from any and every evil association. In the name of Jesus, I pray that the Lord be your refuge, your sanctuary, impenetrable against the onslaught of spiritual adversaries. In the name of Jesus Christ, I rebuke any demonic influence in your life that may be associated with evil companionship. I invoke the power of the blood of Jesus to cleanse and purify your spirit, soul, and body from any contamination that may result from ungodly associations. I pray the sanctifying work of the Holy Spirit breaks every chain and releases you from any bondage forged by the enemy. I declare that you are surrounded with songs of deliverance. I pray that the melodies of victory drown out the whispers of any evil association in the name of Jesus. I renounce any of your association with all evil groups and detachment from them in the name of Jesus. Psalm 51, 7 says, Purge me with high soap, and I shall be clean. Wash me, and I shall be whiter than snow. I pray that you are purified from all evil covenants and curses just as you have renounced them and received Jesus. In the name of Jesus, I declare that all demonic spirits attached to evil covenants and curses against your life are carted in the name of Jesus. I declare the name of Jesus to terrify all evil associations in your life, according to Philippians 2.10, so that at the name of Jesus every knee should bow in heaven and on earth, and underneath the earth the psalmist proclaims in Psalm 34, 7, For you are my hiding place. You protect me from the trouble you surround me with the fire of deliverance. So I declare that the protection encompasses you from any and every evil association. In the name of Jesus, I pray that the Lord be your refuge, your sanctuary, impenetrable against the onslaught of spiritual adversaries. In the name of Jesus Christ, I rebuke any demonic influence in your life that may be associated with evil companionship. I invoke the power of the blood of Jesus to cleanse and purify your spirit, soul, and body from any contamination that may result from ungodly associations. I pray the sanctifying work of the Holy Spirit breaks every chain and releases you from any bondage forged by the enemy. I declare that you are surrounded with songs of deliverance. I pray that the melodies of victory drown out the whispers of any evil association in the name of Jesus. And I declare that you are under the shadow of the wings of the Almighty, shielded from the arrows of any evil association as I renounce any unholy alliances that may seek to draw you away from the perfect will of the Father in the name of Jesus. I rebuke any evil association that may seek to entangle you again, according to Psalm 37. 28. For the Lord loves justice and does not forsake his saints, they are preserved forever. 
Still the children of the wicked shall be cut off. I declare that every scheme of the enemy aimed at disrupting your life henceforth is cut off in the name of Jesus, as I declare that the justice of the Lord prevails, and that the plans of the wicked already started in the mighty and majestic name of Jesus. I pray with thanksgiving, amen, the agreement that you keep either has negative or positive effects upon your attitudes, actions, or physical or even spiritual, well be your influence for better or for worse by those in whom or with whom you associate. This is why the Bible says in Proverbs 13.20, He that walketh with wise men shall be wise but a companion of fools shall be destroyed. 2 Corinthians 6.14 says, Be not unequally yoked together with unbelievers, for fellowship had righteousness with unrighteousness, and communion had light with darkness now. This prayer is important for you if you've been involved in any evil agreement, whether willing or unwillingly. Join me as I pray that you freely make godly associations. Let's pray. Father, I thank you, Lord, for the salvation of the souls of your dear children whom you are planning for. I thank you for the transformative work you've done and performed in their lives through the salvation of their souls in the name of Jesus. And so, Lord God, knowing that they have accepted you, Father, they have discovered a foothold that the enemy has held as I begin to pray with an agreement with them that I break any curse that may be operated against them, that the enemy has taken advantage of standing on the written word in Zechariah 2.4, for there will be a wall of fire all around, declares the Lord. I will be the glory in her midst. I pray for the protective walls of fire to surround you now, as you have decided in the name of Jesus. I appeal to the cleansing power of the blood of Jesus over your body, soul, and spirit. May the blood of Jesus purify you from any adverse effects of past associations or even present that you are about to live in the name of Jesus, for the blood of the Lamb has overcome you. In the mighty name of Jesus, I destroy every covenant that may be working negatively in your life. Isaiah 28.18 says that your covenant with death and your agreement with the evil one will not stand. In the mighty name of Jesus, I disown and reject all words spoken over you through your involvement in any evil association. I disassociate your image from the altars and coven of these evil associations. I turn the devil's schemes into inoperative dust and every and any evil covenant made by your parents on your behalf, counseling the yokes attached to them in the name of Jesus. I declare that you are liberated from the stronghold of domineering power and bondage of limitations, as declared in Isaiah 49.25. For thus says the Lord, even the captives of the mighty shall be taken on the prey of the tyrant shall be rescued, for I will contend with those who contend with you. I demolish the wicked foundations of your life and establish a new one on the solid rock of Jesus Christ, for according to Psalm 18.2, the Lord is your rock, your fortress, in whom you find the protection, your shield, and your place of s safety. I dismantle every hindrance obstacle or blockade hindering your progress due to any attachment to evil associations in the name of Jesus Isaiah 45. 2 says, I will go before you and level the exalted places. I will break in pieces the doors of bronze and cut through the bars of iron. I break and nullify every curse spell hex enchantment bewitchment or incantation plays upon you through your agreement or association with these evil groups before in the name of Jesus. 1 John 5.18 says, For God's Son hosts them securely. The evil one cannot touch them, and I proclaim the same scripture over your body, soul, and spirit of limits to all evil spirits invoking the name of Jesus. 
and every covenant with idols and the yokes associated with them in the name of Jesus. I refuse and invalidate every evil pronouncement imparted on you in Jesus' name. I declare the restoration of any damage inflicted on your body in the name of Jesus. I did own counsel and reject any affiliation with any familiar spirit in the name of Jesus. I pray for the removal of all curses placed upon your ancestral families due to any of their involvement in evil agreement in the name of Jesus. And I break every blood and soul tie covenant and the yokes accompanying it in the name of Jesus. I commend the demise of every curse operating against your head through the power in the blood of Jesus. I call upon the divine power of the Lord to draw you out of the waters of affliction in the name of Jesus, according to Psalm 18.16. He sent from on high, he took me. He drew me out of many waters voices of strangers casting spells against you. I declare that they perish in the name of Jesus. I wipe off every ordinance invoked by the power of darkness into the heavens against you in the name of Jesus. The Word of God, 2 Thessalonians 3.3, 3, says that because the Lord is faithful, He will strengthen you and guard you from the evil one. I call therefore upon the power of God to attack all conspirators assigned against your head in the name of Jesus. As I declare confusion in the midst of their territories in the name of Jesus, I free you from every grip of ancestral spirits, holding you down in the mighty name of Jesus. I declare that you are released from every spirit that is not the Spirit of Christ. For 1 Corinthians 6, Art 117 says, But the person who is joined to the Lord is one spirit with him. I renounce any of your association with all evil groups and detachment from them in the name of Jesus. Psalm 51 7 says, Purge me with high soap, and I shall be clean. Wash me, and I shall be whiter than snow. I pray that you are purified from all evil covenants and curses, just as you have renounced them and received Jesus. In the name of Jesus, I declare that all demonic spirits attached to evil covenants and curses against your life and family. In the name of Jesus, I declare the name of Jesus to terrify all evil army agreement in your life, according to Philippians 2.10, so that at the name of Jesus, every knee should bow in heaven and on earth and underneath the earth, the psalmist proclaims in Psalm 34, 7, For you are my hiding place. You protect me from trouble. You surround me with the anointing of deliverance. So I declare that the protection encompasses you from any and every evil association. In the name of Jesus, I pray that the Lord be your refuge, your sanctuary, impenetrable against the onslaught of spiritual adversaries, in the name of Jesus Christ, I rebuke any demonic influence in your life that may be associated with the evil company. I invoke the power of the blood of Jesus to cleanse and purify your spirit, soul, and body from any contamination that may result from ungodly relationships. In the name of Jesus, I pray the sanctifying work of the Spirit of God will break every chain and release you from any bondage forged by the enemy. I declare that you are surrounded with songs of deliverance. I pray that the melodies of victory drown out the whispers of any evil association. And I declare that you are hiding in the shadow of the wings of the Almighty, shielded from the arrow of any evil association, as I renounce any unholy alliances that may seek to draw you away from the Father's perfect will. In the name of Jesus, I rebuke any evil association that may seek to entangle you again according to Psalm 37.28, for the Lord loves justice and does not forsake his saint. They are preserved forever, but the children of the wicked shall be cut off. I declare that every enemy scheme aimed at disrupting your life henceforth is cut off. In the name of Jesus, as I declare that the justice of the Lord prevails, 
that the plans of the wicked already tarted in the mighty and majestic name of Jesus, I pray with thanksgiving. Amen. Evil projections are frequently likened to arrows, carrying with them a symbolic potency. These arrows often are leashed by an unsee, inconspicuous sender transverse, a meticulously plotted cues aiming to strike their intended target. The sender strategy involves sorrow study and mapping to ensure accuracy. At times, these evil projectiles are released indiscriminately, finding unsuspecting victims, particularly those lacking in prayerful defenses. The lethal nature of these evil projections manifest in swift and unforeseen consequences, ranging from sudden deaths to intricate health complications for you. Aligned with the divine as children of God, these arrows hold no way for you are temples of the most high positioned above principalities and powers the protection derived from this divine affiliation shields you from the detrimental impact of evil projections. The assurance of divine elevation is an impenetrable defense against the arrows sent by evil forces, preserving the sanctity of your life and endeavors. So I would like to pray for you, particularly those who have been the target of evil arrows, and also for those who have suffered it, not knowing because of the lifestyle that has to do with a low level of prayer if you need that deliverance. Please join me knowing that you are in Christ and your eyes of understanding have been enlightening. So you can speak to the arrows and they will return to the sender. Let us pray, Father, in the name of Jesus. We thank you because we know you are our Father. Your word says no good thing would you withhold from us. It said we should call you on the day of trouble. You answer us and show us great and mighty things that we do not know of. And so, God, I come seeking your divine protection from every evil attack that may have been launched against everyone and anyone under the sound of this prayer. Father God, as we go into your word, knowing that your word is the anchor on which we stand, Lord, we come and declare bringing forth victory and safeguarding from the schemes of the enemy, starting with Psalm 64, 7 and 8. We say, Lord, but God will shoot them with his arrows. They would suddenly be struck down. He would turn their tongues against them and bring them to ruin, Lord. We stand upon the agreement of this promise in the mighty name of Jesus. As we pray for the defense against any arrows of male slander or ham that may have been sent their way in the authority of Jesus' name, I ask that God you will return these arrows to their senders, causing them to fall harless and powerless in the name of Jesus. I acknowledge that the enemy seeks to use the tongues of others to bring harm and chaos over people's lives. Still, as I stand in the presence of God, I declare that no weapon formed against you shall prosper. Every tongue that rises against you in judgment, you already have condemned it as it is written in Isaiah 54:17. I speak a reversal of every negative word spoken over your life and declare God's protection over your reputation, relationships, and well-being. As I continue to pray, I draw upon the words of Psalm 144.6, Send forth lightning and scatter the enemy. Shoot your arrows and rout them. I invoke God's divine intervention, unleashing his lightning to scatter every force of darkness that surrounds you and has been dealt with by the enemy. Let the word of God and the arrows of his justice and righteousness root out the plans of the adversary and renew them ineffective and nullified by the power of God's mighty hand in the name of Jesus. I command any evil arrows targeted at your heart, mind, or body to be intercepted and disarmed. May the angels of God as ministering spirits stand God around you in the name of Jesus. May they deflect every attack aimed at causing harm or hindrance. 
Let the shield of favor raise high, extinguishing all the flaming arrows of the evil one. In the name of Jesus, I trust in God's promise from Psalm 91, 4 and 5. He will cover you with his feathers, and under his wings you will find refuge. His faithfulness will be your shield and raper. You will not fear the terror of night nor the arrow that flies by day. I pray that you will find solace and protection beneath the shelter of God's winds. Let his faithfulness be as shoulder guarding you from every attack, visible or unseen. I declare a reversal of every curse or negative intention sent towards you as I stand upon the authority of God's word. I command that every undeserved curse shall not come to rest according to Proverbs 26.2. Instead, let blessings and favor surround you like a show. As it is written in Psalm 5 and 12, deflecting every arrow of misfortune and ham in the name of Jesus, I acknowledge the wicked may bend their bows and set the arrows against the righteous. Still, we take refuge in God's word in Psalm 11, 2 and 3, the refuge of God's presence. I lift you to God in this prayer, trusting in the promises of the scripture. For look the wicked bend their bows. They set their arrows against the strings to shoot from the shadows at their upright heart when the foundations are destroyed. What can the righteous do at this moment? I declare that by the authority granted through Jesus Christ, every arrow aimed at you will fall short, for the foundations of your life are firmly anchored in the unwavering strength of our Lord, as the wicked may plot and scheme in the shadows. Seeking to harm the upright in heart, I pray a divine reversal over every dart sent your way, just as the foundations of the building withstand the storms, I declare that your foundations established in faith and righteousness remain unshakable in the name of Jesus. I return every evil arrow to its sender, nullifying its intended harm. May these arrows aimed at your heart and peace fall harmlessly to the ground. The shield of faith surrounds you and extinguishes every flaming arrow of the evil one as we pray together. I ask for a divine covering over your life. May the Lord surround you with the impenetrable armor of his love and let the light of his truth dispel the darkness. May the enemy schemes be turned into inoperative dust and may you walk in the victory secured through the blood of Jesus Christ. You will not be shaken in the face of adversity. God's protection surrounds you and his angels encamped around you. The plans of the wicked are broken and the arrows of harm are returned void. May the peace surpass understanding God, your heart and mind in Christ. In the name of Jesus, in the face of adversity, I declare that the foundations of your life are built upon the rock of Christ, unshakable and unwavering. The arrows of the enemy shall fall short, for God's protection is a fortress that cannot be breached as we continue to pray. I seek God's guidance and wisdom for you. May the Lord open your eyes to discern the subtle snares and traps set by the adversary. May the Holy Spirit be their guide, leading them away from the path of danger and into the light of God's truth. May the Lord surround you with godly counsel and support relationships that uplift and encourage in Jesus' name. I declare victory over every one of your lives. May the Lord break every chain that binds you, whether visible or invisible, release you from the grip of the evil one, and let the power of the Holy Spirit transform every aspect that needs redemption. In the name of Jesus, I cast out every spirit of darkness, oppression, and confusion from your life. Let the light of God's truth shine brightly, bringing clarity and peace to your heart and mind. May the Lord grant you peace by dispelling any fear or anxiety that may have taken root in the name of Jesus. As I stand in confident assurance that the Lord is a mighty fortress, a refuge in times of trouble, the enemy's arrows may be aimed, but they shall not find their mark. You are covered by God's grace, 
surrounded by God's angels and protected by the power of God's word. May this prayer serve as a declaration of peace and joy over the schemes of the devil in your life, knowing that God is your protection and is always with you in, in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord, because every arrow sent has been returned to the sender. In the name of Jesus, thank you, Father, for doing exceeding abundantly above all that we've asked or said according to your power that is at work in us. In Jesus' mighty name we pray, amen. Misfortune is accurate, and it happens everywhere. I'm sure you have experienced it one way or the other, but there are those whom misfortune has made a stronghold of their lives, so God's intention for a believer is that misfortune would have no foothold in your home. The Bible says, Why so downcast? O oh, my soul, put your trust in God. And let me tell you, Psalm 42, 1 says, Why so disturbed? Because there is a God in heaven that always is willing to hear our prayers. Are there any misfortunes you're going through? Or has it been a curse in your family or your children's lives? Let's pray over it as we know there is a name above every other. Only Jesus can stop it. So join me as we pray against misfortune. Never again would you see it after this prayer in Jesus' name. Father, I come to you in the mighty name of Jesus. I know it's not because of me, but because of him that has died resurrected, and is a seed with you that has given me the power to say to this mountain, Be thou removed. It is removed. And so, Lord, I stand in agreement with everyone listening, knowing that you are the source of true comfort and solace. And so, Lord, I pray, concerning everyone that is going through weariness, that is weighing them heavy, and miseries that are seeking to destroy them, I declare the truth of Matthew 11, 28 to 30, over their lives, as I send the invitation that is in the Word of God. Come to me, all who are weary and burdened, and I would give you rest. So, Lord, as they respond and draw near to you, May the burdens that weigh on their heart be lifted, and as your gentle embrace of your love grants them rest in the name of Jesus. I declare that the yoke of sorrow is exchanged for the yoke of God's gentle and humble spirit. I pray against the overwhelming feelings that seek to engage them, which have cost them sleepless nights. May the peace of surpassed understanding flow over you, soothing every troubled thought, and calming every storm within, amid life's challenges. I pray you to anchor your soul in the hope of God, because you are the God who sees the brokenhearted and saves those crushed in spirit. Lord, as I declare Psalm 34, 17 and 18 over them, I pray that, Lord God, as they draw near to you, offering the comfort you will give to them, and strength in the name of Jesus. I pray they receive your presence and feel as tangible as it is to everyone who knows you. Just as a shepherd cares for the well-being of the sheep, I declare that God Almighty makes you experience his tender care. I pray that the Lord leads you beside still and quiet waters, restoring your soul even in the darkest valley. Every despair looming, I declare fearlessness in your spirit as you trust God for the deliverance coming your way in the name of Jesus. I declare that you cast every anxiety and every burden upon God as his peace concerns all understanding and guards your heart and mind. The Lord is granting you the courage to release heavy weights and solace in his unfailing love in the name of Jesus. I rebuke the grip of misery, declaring freedom and joy over your life. May the burdens of yesterday be replaced with the hope of tomorrow, and may you find strength new in the promises of God's word. In the name of Jesus, in the presence of our compassionate and loving Father, I lift a prayer for your life. I declare as you draw strength and solace from the timeless words of Psalm 42.1, and the comforting invitation of Matthew 11:28 to 30. O precious soul, if you find yourself in the depths of despair, 
I stand with you in the moment of prayer, seeking the tender embrace of our Savior. Let these words be a comfort to your weary spirit in the mighty name of Jesus. I quote the word of God in Psalm 42.1, where it says, Why, my soul, are you downcast? Why so disturbed within me? Put your hope in God, for I will yet praise him, my Savior and my God. And this is my prayer to you, that you will find hope amid this despair. I pray that the light of God's promises may help you through the darkness surrounding you in the name of Jesus. As you come before God burdened and tired, may you experience the rest that only God can provide amid life's struggles. May you lay down the heavy yoke of mystery at the feet of Jesus, and may you embrace his gentle and humble spirit, finding comfort in the arms of the one who understands your every burden.